welcome back to the channel and today we're doing my top five countdown of Traxxas RC's I think you guys should check out this holiday season I've narrowed this list down to these five RC's that I think uh, veterans and people new to the hobby will enjoy I keep finding myself coming back to these and driving these quite a bit I drive these more often than some of my other ones I do own quite a bit of uh, Traxxas uh, cars and trucks but just to keep it simple and to give you guys an idea of uh, what you should check out, I've narrowed it down to these five. Keep in mind, this is my opinion. This is my list. I know we all like different things. Uh, this is what I came up with. I, but I do think there is something for everybody on this list, uh, no matter if you're new or, like I said, a veteran of the hobby. We'll start off number five at our most expensive uh, kit and work our way down all the way to spot number one. First on the list is number five, and this is the Traxxas X-Max. It's number five on the list because it's the most expensive. The Traxxas X-Max, the kit itself, you know, the truck and the radio, it's gonna cost you around $1,000. Um, you will need two 4S batteries and a charger to uh, run this truck. As you can see, it's pretty big. It has a lot of power. I really enjoy driving this truck. It's a head turner for sure. I'm always getting stopped, you know, in the field when I'm running it, you know, people asking me questions about it, and uh, a lot of people are really interested, you know, when they see it. Bust wheelies for days, has plenty of power, I really like the way it drives, um, it's very durable, I've crashed it several times, uh, some of the issues you may have, or some of the things I don't like about it, is this body, depending on how hard you crash, will pop off sometimes, but it's not really that big of a deal, you just, you know, snap it back on. Traxxas does have, you know, the clipless body mounting system. You just unlatch here from the back of the truck and raise it up and slide it out. The body comes right off. Here's a shot inside of the chassis of the truck. And as you can see, we have slots here for our two 4S batteries. We have our Valenion brushless uh, motor and ESC combo here, capable of 8S. We have a heat sink and fan here on the motor. You got your wheelie bar, your aluminum uh, shocks. It's really fun to drive. I really enjoy it. Um, it can be heavy, so carrying it around in the field once you know the batteries run out can be an issue. That's one small complaint, but I mean it's it is what it is. It's a monster truck, and it's the biggest in its class that Traxxas makes as of right now. Um, I think this is one of Traxxas's crowning achievements, honestly. There's nothing like the X-Max. There's nothing like driving the X-Max and the adrenaline rush you get when you're uh, driving this truck. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. You get what you pay for. So this is my pick for the number five spot. It is the Traxxas X-Max. Go out and get you one. Next on the list, we have the Traxxas E-Revo Brushless. Everybody loves the E-Revo. Um, I know I do. It's just an awesome RC, a good all-terrain vehicle. Really drives really well over grass, dirt, mud, on the street. We actually did a speed run with the uh, E-Revo, a stock speed run. We hit 50 miles an hour uh, stock, running a 6S. Uh, which is pretty good for a truck this size. I mean, it's marketed as a 110 scale uh, truck, but I think it's more of a 18 scale because it's pretty big for, uh, you know, to be rated as a 110 scale. It's a whole lot of fun to drive, very durable, kind of hovers over the terrain when you drive it. I mean, it really stands out. It's really fun over hills and stuff like that. I don't really ramp jump this one uh, very often. This is priced at around $650, so it is the second most expensive on our list. Uh, but again, it's worth every penny. Um, the E-Revo is a, is a really unique RC, really handles well. You won't get much traction rolling out of this one. The tires do balloon out uh, quite a bit, um, 
that's not really an issue. Your batteries, they do go here on the side, but you kind of open this up and they go here in this compartment. This is a 6S capable RC. Um, your ESC, your motor here, you have two servos here in the front. Um, most people upgrade the servos after a while, but the E-Revo is just a really fun truck to drive. Really unique truck in the way it drives and the way it's built. So the number four spot goes to the Traxxas E-Revo. Next up for the number three spot, we have the famous, the legendary Traxxas Slash Ultimate. I've got to be honest with you guys, this is one of my favorite RCs of all time. Now, there's a lot of you know reasons why this was one of my most uh, expensive RCs. This is when I made that step up to the next level back in the day when I got this truck. Um, so it has a lot of sentimental uh, value for me. And this is what really got me started in the hobby and got me really serious into it. Uh, driving the Slash Ultimate, there's really nothing like it. I mean, this thing drives and handles flawlessly, guys. This thing is a legend, I'm telling you. When people think of Traxxas as a company, automatically the Slash comes to mind. One of Traxxas' staples. I mean, this is something that will go on for years to come. I really don't know how they could improve this platform. I mean, the Slash Ultimate guys has it all out of the box. I mean, it's four wheel drive. You've got telemetry throughout. You've got front and rear sway bars. You've got aluminum parts on all four corners. You have uh, GTR shocks. You have racing wheels and tires. I mean, it really has everything you need out of the box to get you up and running, you know, and the handling on this thing is just superb. I mean, it drives straight as an arrow. And it leans in the turns. They're very, very rarely will it traction roll. Um, it runs good off-road, on-road, in the dirt, in the gravel, on the street. I mean, it's just an all-around awesome RC. I really love this one. This one is, as far as handling goes, Probably one of my most favorite RCs of all time. It's gonna be, like I said, it's gonna be honest with you. There's nothing like driving a Slash Ultimate. It's just something you gotta experience for yourself to see what I'm saying. I mean, it's just an awesome RC. This one is priced right now at around 550. Um, again, 550 is a drop in the bucket. I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. It's pretty much upgraded. I mean, there are a few things you can do. One thing I did when I got this truck is I added a lift kit. I added the Proline lift kit to keep the body off of the tires here. The tires will rub here inside of the body. That's one downside, but it's not really that big of an upgrade just to throw a lift kit on it. Um, not a very expensive upgrade, I might say. The only negative, and it's not really the fault of the Slash, it's, it's pretty inherent with all short course trucks is the Slash will catch wind. All short course trucks are like that. They catch wind, especially if you're ramp jumping them. Uh, here's a quick shot of the inside of the chassis. It's kind of dirty in there. We were running it uh, earlier today. Again, you have your front and rear sway bars here, your uh, motor ESC receiver, your aluminum center drive shaft. Again, you have aluminum parts front and rear. On all four corners, your GTR adjustable shocks, your racing wheels and tires, just an all around awesome RC. I really like this one. This is my number three spot, uh, the Traxxas Slash Ultimate.
Next up, at number two on the list, is the Traxxas Max. The Traxxas Max is a really fun truck to drive. It's pretty much a shrunk down mini version of the X-Max, and it's half the price. This kit will set you back about $550 uh, for the kit, and you will need to buy a 4S battery for this one. It has a lot of power for what it is. It's really fast. We haven't done a speed run on this one yet, uh, but eyeballing it, I would say it's got to be in the 50, 55 mile an hour range. Willie's on command. The only negative I have for this truck is it will traction roll quite a bit. Traxxas has come out with a wide kit for this one to extend your uh, your footprint here on the truck. I haven't gotten around to installing that yet. My only upgrades I've done so far is the front and rear uh, LED headlights. Uh, you can drive this at night with those lights on. They're really bright. Here's the inside of the uh, Max. Here's our ESC with a built-in fan and our motor with a fan and heat sink. 4S capable. Very durable for its size. Here's a really quick size comparison between the X-Max and the Max. And as you can see, the X-Max pretty much towers over the Max. The inside of the chassis is a little bit different because the X-Max runs two batteries, but other than that, the actual pan, the actual chassis frame is pretty much the same as the X-Max. The Max is just a really fun truck to drive. There's really nothing like it. It dominates in the 110 scale uh, arena. I think it's one of those trucks you really just got to drive to really experience uh, what I'm talking about. This is one of those trucks I think newcomers to the hobby, if, if they were to purchase this truck, would just be hooked from day one because it's just so much fun to drive. So this is the number two on the list, the Traxxas Max. Looks like we've made it to our number one spot, but before we get to that RC, if you're new to the channel and you like these kind of videos, think about subscribing, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any new content. And with that being said, here's the number one spot on my top five list. The Traxxas Bandit VXL. This is my favorite two wheel drive Traxxas RC of all time. The Bandit VXL, there's nothing like it guys. This thing will go 55 miles an hour stock on two wheels. I'm telling you, wheelies all the way down the street. I really like the way this thing drives. Uh, the slender body is really aerodynamic so we don't catch any wind. It wheelies for days, I'm telling you. It can go off-road and on-road. I mainly drive mine on-road because I just I'm addicted to the wheelies, I'm telling you guys, there's just nothing like it. It's really, really fast out of the box. I haven't put in the speed pinion yet, but like I said, we did do some speed runs on this one. I've got quite a few videos here on the channel of the Bandit VXL and all of these RCs that have been mentioned here in the top five list, so go check those out. But this one here is just an awesome RC. It's the cheapest on the list, which is why it's number one. Around $319 for this RC. Worth every penny, guys. Two-wheel drive, wheelies for days, drives straight as an arrow, doesn't catch wind. You can drive it off-road and on-road. Uh, doesn't really traction roll. Controls really good into turns. Handles really well. I really like the Bandit VXL. So that's all I got for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully this will give you an idea of maybe what you can check out or pick up for somebody or for yourself this holiday season. All these RCs are really great. They vary in price range and in skill level, uh, but they're all great. They all run good. I like them all. Uh, if you didn't see an RC that you think should be on this list, that's fine. This is just a list that I narrowed down for you guys just to make it kind of easy and give an all around uh, variety of RCs that I drive all the time that I think are really good and uh, deserve recognition. So with that being said, I appreciate you watching. 
If you like these kind of videos and like what we do here on the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. This is RC Reviews signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Later.